Hi guys, welcome to the video. This is my solo run of this week's featured Grandmaster, which is Insight Terminus. As you can see, I'm doing it on Void Walker Warlock. Uh, all weapons, mods, artifacts, fragments that I'm using will be shown at the start of the video, but I'll speak a little bit about a couple of the, about the weapons and a couple of the mods. So I'm using Wish Ender. That's going to be my anti-barrier, but it's going to be my main damage weapon. Uh, I'm using Truth Teller, which has blinding nades, all auto loading, disruption break, and the the much maligned retrofit escapade. I've got heating up and target lock on that. Uh, solo operative bomber on the class item. Uh, the main things that I'm kind of I'm running is counter charge. It's an artifact mod. Run that on the legs. Every time I stun a champion, I become charged with light, and I'm coupling that with high energy fire on the chest plate. So I'm going to do 20% additional damage on top of that every time I stun a champion. And ashes to assets because we're using obviously vortex grenade with controverse. Grenade kills will give me my super back considerably faster. And the grenade's going to put in some work in this. Now, I'm using the grenade launcher. I'm using the truth teller, obviously with blinding nades, because we're going to we're gonna control the, the boss section. We're going to control the ads so that we can capture the plates as quickly as possible. You don't really want to waste time on them, and you don't want to put yourself in a position where you're a bit getting swamped with ads. You couldn't capture the plate because the ads came back out. I'm going to show you how to stop that, and you can do it on every class. So... A lot of people don't like the Insight Terminus, more, mainly because of the boss section, because they maybe don't understand. No disrespect to anybody's knowledge, they probably just don't, haven't been there enough to understand what causes ads to come, what is the rotation of the spawns, etc, etc. I'm going to show you that in here, it's actually a really easy, I mean this is a GM and I've done it in 27 minutes, you know, it's, and this isn't a speed run by, by any stretch of the imagination. It's just an efficient run. If you get to this point and you had what I had, where the champion, you never got that champion uh, notification there, just go back a little bit and you'll get it. You just need to make sure you've got the place marker to tell you to go forward. When that appears, you just go back a little bit and you'll see, as I did, you'll see that you'll get the champion uh, notification that three champions have spawned in. What we're kind of doing here, you see here, I put a grenade, just take it that minotaur. I put a grenade and then uh, break the shield with 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 the wish ender. And then I use if if the champion is in close proximity. Now I didn't reload. Got to make sure you always reload. If the champion is in close proximity, 90% of the time I'm just going to put uh, the retrofit on and just melt. Now something a lot of people might have noticed is. I didn't put machine gun scavenger on. The reason why, I've noticed even with scavenger on, sometimes you get a good brick, sometimes you don't get a good brick. So I wanted to see what the, what the correlation with scavenger was versus not having it. And I think you'll, you'll notice in the run, if you pay, play close attention to um, maybe a little side thing here, I might be asking too much here. Sometimes I pick up a brick and only get 20, 30 rounds. Sometimes I pick up a brick and get 130 rounds. Scavenger did not seem to make a difference. Or the lack of scavenger. So that is how I'm taking out the champions. You've seen the positioning. I took out the first champion. I'd already taken out the Minotaur uh, at the back with the first champion. I took out the second champion, put in a grenade. That took out the little load of goblins that were there with it and then I charged a grenade and threw on all those enemies only left a couple of stragglers at the back then we went after the next champion so once we get here I kind of neutralize all of those and in initial le legion legionaries so that I've got this area to myself no ads will push up here uh, there is a champion over over yonder but the old country language there uh, I'm just going to put a grenade which will drag any of the other enemies across and then wish end as you can see will put that put that uh, break that shield with one hit now as you can see I've got charge for light break the shield we get another two charge for light I'm hitting him for big damage I mean that's what nearly 20,000 per bow shot not to be underestimated. It's a primary, so it does more damage than an energy bow. So I don't have to 
trick myself or kid myself into into using a void bow because I haven't said this already, but I'm, again, a lot of these facts I'm sure you know, but we'll cover it anyway. It's void burn. You take 50% additional void damage. You do 25% uh, more void. Sometimes you can get caught up with the burn and you'll try and buy into the burn. Whereas sometimes there are weapons that don't match the burn that will do a lot more. So you see there, I picked up that brick. I only got 20 rounds. That happens when I've got scavenger on. So I used... Once I took out the champion behind us, I just made sure that I, you know, was taking out all the enemies. Another great thing about Wish Ender, as it's basically got wall hacks, it can see through walls if you're close enough, allows you to kind of scan the area in front of you to see if there's any ads hiding. Uh, so, once you get to this plate for the, for, for the un uninitiated, when you get to this plate, let Cargan do his thing in regards to slamming the floor. When he slams the floor, uh, which he will, let me just take him out, when he slams the floor, if you stand next to the plate, he'll slam the floor, then you can go onto the plate. You get that first wave of gladiators, and then you get this next wave. Now, as you can see, I stopped one of the champions, I used my super, took out the ch first champion I stopped, and you see the retrofit just makes very light work. If you do it like that, you're only going to get one wave, one wave of uh, gladiators, one wave of incendiars. You can't farm that plate anymore for unstoppables because I, I tested it. You'll only get the first wave. The second wave will just be void shielded incendiars. So if you do it like that, no problem. Make sure you, if, as I say, if, you, if you're running the same as what I'm running, you'll get your grenade back after you pop it on the first set of ads. Use the grenade launcher to stun them. Most of the time it keeps them in place, but sometimes the gladiators get that sudden urge to sprint once you, <laughs> once you blind them. And then, again, grenade, take out the dogs when the champions come. Stun, use your grenade launcher because we are using unstoppable uh, grenade launcher. Uh, and, and, and then super, take out at least one of them. So when you get to this area, you can see I'm kind of just hovering in this area down here to take the champion and the ads out. Just to the right, you'll have seen a couple of seconds ago, I took out a sniper. Make sure you take that sniper because, man, they sting. So you do not want a sniper hanging about just to the right of you when you're trying to deal with a barrier. And the wall hacks work from here so you can actually aim towards where that bat, where that is on the right where I took that sniper. You can aim in that direction and see if the sniper's there. Take that sniper, and then as I say, be very careful about that barrier, because if you keep critting them, you'll see here with these, the, the great thing about another, kind of a side thing, it doesn't it doesn't actually say it. it, it really stuns enemies, it hits, snaps their head back, you know, it's almost like, like, like what the Unstoppable mod does. Uh, so it will do that on champions, it will break a champion's uh, firing mechanism if he's shooting at you and you and you hit him in the face, you get him a crit, his head will snap back, his weapon will stop aiming at you. It's, it's just all sorts of good. Once you've cleared those enemies, come over here, there will be no enemies here to start with and you can very safely start picking apart the adds on the other side. So we're just going to toss a grenade, there is a barrier put down my rift. Now the barriers jumped down. He's now going to jump back up, back into the grenade which will weaken him. Let me just break his shield and then I'm just going to throw my Nova straight away. Now you have to be aware, as you can see here, I, I'm still hitting him. My super would have killed him but I'm just making sure. You saw, with, you saw the wall hacks there. It actually detected from here, it detected that unstoppable. So what we're going to do, you You've got two waves of these ads, right? So this is the first wave. You'll always have those little group of scions over on the over on that left side for both both times you do this. So you come in, you take out the barrier and the the couple of ads that are with the barrier. Then when you come over here, Cargan, who was at that conflux, will run away. That's the start of the actual encounter. Ads will spawn on this side of the Radio Larian Lake, that little lake just down to our right from here. Ads will spawn there. I'll just stop that unstoppable and then we'll just put a grenade over on them. I'm not, I'm, I'm really 
I'm not bothered about needing to weed him down. The next wave of ads will not come until you kill the unstoppable, right? So now we'll just melt him down with the retrofit. And then you'll see champion is defeated. And then it should say a champion has appeared. Now the reason why we moved over here is now this is this is gonna be the way this rotation is gonna work, right? I think this I think I throw. Get ready for it. Two. Not one. Two really bad needs. Now luckily this gladiator must have fell down and, and got chewed up by the grenade. Normally I can land these grenades, but I actually throw another really bad grenade. Right, so the way the rotation works is we went over to the other side. I have to just give credit where credit's due, because that's two really bad grenades. <laughs> that's ridiculous. We come in here, clear the ads, go over to the other side, car can all run. The ads spawn here, where we're, where we're just running away from. Once once the unstoppable is left, you move over to the unstoppable, because when you kill the unstoppable, you're going to get a bunch of ads, including, in the first wave, one champion over this side. You don't want to be over here when they spawn. So, we're gonna, just going to come over here. I'm just going to whittle him down, because the great thing about uh, the Wish Ender is, it does that much damage that he needs to shield again. He's going to have to shield before he actually fires his weapon. Because we broke his shield. He knows he's in danger. He'll kind of settle himself after he after he comes out of being you know, stunned by the shield break. And then he'll basically shield straight away again. If you've done enough damage, he'll reshield. So, kill those ads over there. When you kill the unstoppable, the barrier spawns this side. Once you've killed the barrier and at the ads, you'll deposit the arc charge that the unstoppable dropped. The un that is the point of killing the unstoppable last, because he drops an arc charge. As soon as you do that, you get your second wave over the other side. Now, the difference with the second wave is there are three champions. You've got the barrier, exactly the same as the first time. Now, this is just the amount of ads that are going to be there that spawn in immediately. So you'll have the barrier that you had the last time, this guy here, so you've killed him. You'll have your unstoppable, which you killed the last time, but you'll also have a second barrier that comes in with this wave of ads. He's at the back of the map. So we're going to clear all the ads we can see with the naked eye from here. As you can see, Wish Ender does really good damage. This is this wave of scions. You need to make sure they're all gone. Uh, and there probably will still be a couple of legionaries up on the right. Now, as you can see, there they are, right on time. So, he might run. Get another shot on him. Oh, there we go. That's unfortunate. So, what's going to be left now is there's probably going to be some shielded cabal. As you can see there, some phalanx. An unstoppable and a barrier. So, we're just going to charge one need and we're going to throw it over there. Now, what I'm trying to do here is get a stop. You see, I've stopped the unstoppable. Now we're going to find the barrier. And what we can do, while we're dealing with the barrier, just uh, a couple of shots, we can keep stopping the unstoppable so he doesn't keep firing at us. Now, we've got auto-load and holster uh, on the grenade launcher, so when we when we store it to get the, the, the grenade, the bow out, it will auto reload now we'll melt the unstoppable as soon as he's dead when we first came into this room right now you'll see finish him defeated a champion and then it might say two champions have appeared we're going to go back to where we first came into the room you see see how i've done it. i'm always close to where i need to go next when i finish what i'm doing the reason why we've come over here is because you get a second mini wave once you've took the unstoppable out. Alright? So we're just going to come over here. You can see the grenade's doing good work. I've got another grenade. But more importantly, I have Devour. So every time I get a kill, I'm getting my full health back. You see how I've got Devour there? 10 seconds of Devour. I'm just checking. See how my wall hacks are telling me exactly where the ads are? Every time I get a kill, it's refreshing. Now, See me jump away there? The reason why I jumped away is because one of these little cheeky monkeys threw one of their uh, wrist grenades at us. 
don't be around when that lands because even though it's solar and even though you've got devour and all that stuff that thing will hurt when it hits no now that we've killed the mini weave we've killed the champions as soon as we pick up that arc charge and start moving forward we are going to get another champion that will spawn right in the middle do not don't go anywhere don't say don't go anywhere near him be aware that he's going to be there because I've seen it before, people pick up the arc charge, they charge through the middle, right to here, and then get smashed by, by a Cabal drop pod. Now we've got two barriers over the other side, right? So I put the grenade, you see there I brought the champion real quick. Look, there's a couple of legionaries there, so the first barrier will be at the bottom of the stairs. Now I'm trying to isolate them, because sometimes when you're taking the bottom barrier, the top barrier will be like, what's going on here? That's a better grenade. So part of the reason I threw the grenade up there is to take out some ads. Secondly, find out where the second barrier is. And there he is. You don't want the second barrier to have eyes on you when you're taking the first barrier. So that is why I went to the right-hand side of that box just so that I could... Uh, and peace and quiet, <laughs> Kelly's mate. <laughs> That's the best way to say it. There we go. That's both champions down. There might be a couple of gladiators up, at, you know, because I didn't see anything. I didn't. The grenade will tell you what's up. Every time these ads spawn this time, the first time you'll get one barrier, second time it'll be two. But you'll always get two gladiators. That's these guys, the butchers. So we'll just blind him, and then he, he he's not got a clue now just kill him and, uh, you see there with a the, the fully drawn shot off the wish ender does so much damage i've kept my grenade i'm just looking for heavy i know that there's I, there, I know there's another heavy brick there just to make sure i'm going into the boss section with full heavy i'm keeping my grenade for this section so as you can see i'm gonna let the door completely go away and then drop a grenade right there that will kill all the, all the goblins and it will kill the minotaur. The minotaur come charging up wanting to get involved and just disappear. And there we go. 334 rounds. So what I can afford to do now is burn a couple of them on this next mini kind of on the jumping section going towards the boss. There's going to be a bunch of kind of headless goblins. It's after you drop down the second time. So that was the first drop down. After you drop down here and turn the corner. Uh goes around slight, slightly to the right and then it's a sh third drop down sorry you you drop down and it's slightly to to the right the alley goes round to the right and then it's a sharp left it's after the sharp left so you see we go round here at the right this is a sharp left this is where they'll be just feather it just feather the, the don't don't just don't pick up you know hold the trigger down and just you know blow a whole heap of heavy I think they're only used like 28 rounds or something, 30 rounds, 30, 33 rounds, and that took out all those ads. Here we are now, we're at the boss. From now on in, it's about controlling the plates. Now, forget about, I'm just going to capture this first plate, kill any ads that come close. If I need to use the machine gun, that's fine. But I'm going to explain, because things are going to happen pretty quickly. I'm going to explain how to capture the plates there is going to be kind of two waves of ads right you're going to have the this wave that comes out no bother you've got four legionaries you've got dogs all, all the rest we're just going to kill all of these guys i'm not bothered about burning uh burning my uh see i've caught the plate i wasn't bothered about burning heavy because i just wanted to get that plate as quickly as possible What's going to happen is, obviously you can see Karkin's there, he's, we, we want to take the, the, these dogs out, Karkin's there now, we've ca captured that middle plate, Karkin's there, throw a super. What we're going to do is now, we want these ads to keep spawning, the f now in the first instance, it's just going to be legionaries, right? We want them to keep spawning and coming over, we're just going to get this heavy here. Wanting to keep spawning, wanting to keep going up to the boss because the more ads that my grenade hits and kills, the more super I get, the faster I get my grenade back. 
this is going to be our point of attack. Don't be too close to that center pillar that we're behind. There's only one ad there. I don't really want to burn a grenade when there's only one ad. So, oh, there's two actually. So what I'll do is I'll kill these ads. Again, I, I'm 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 quite experienced here. Try not to do what I just done. Stand out in the open and aim at one ad. Because for your information, I'll just throw a grenade there because we want to weaken him so I can put some machine gun on his face. For those void streams that he throws at you, don't run through them. This is a ghostbuster moment. Don't cross the streams because you'll die. That is just what will happen. This center put pillar, the center bit, if you're just behind it, like a bit behind it, then what will happen is most of the time his void streams will hit this pillar and won't come past it. So it's a safe spot for this point, right? When the when the, the, the play ads start coming out, which is a different set of ads altogether, then you can't be here. This is the car this is boss damage area, that pillar. Now, what's gonna happen is you're gonna have in a minute Karkin's gonna go immune and you're gonna get a whole different set of ads. You're gonna get gladiators, you're gonna get dogs, you are gonna get your four four in, uh, legionaries and you're gonna get two void shielded incendiaries. Now there he's disappeared, you've got three plates to capture. Alright? So I've got a whole bunch of legionaries there. I'm not really bothered about the legionaries. I'll take some of them out because I need to get the next wave of ads out. See there, I've thrown my grenade. I'm trying to kill a whole host of legionaries because that will bring the next wave of ads out. Right? You see there, we've still got a bunch of legionaries. We want to keep four legionaries up. And the reason why we're going to keep four up is they're the four that dictate the flow of ads. You get each wave, you will get four legionaries. If you kill all the other ads and leave the four legionaries up, no other ads will spawn until you kill one of those legionaries. Right? You'll see me do it. So the plan is, keep the four legionaries up, move from left to right. I'm just, I'm trying to make sure there is no additional ads up. You see there, there is more than four up at the moment, I think. Because we had the legionaries from previously. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get them together. You see, I'm, I've blinded a couple. I'm just going to keep blinding them. Now you do don't even have to hit a legionary, right? Now that now that I've I've caught so much of the plate, I'm now going to melt the legionaries. Put down my rift. Just kill these last legionaries. Put my grenade down. That will get me my my. Uh, that will get me my devour. So what I done there was, I got the legionaries together, and then I blinded them. As long as I keep them blinded, we won't get this wave of ads. Alright? It's after we've blinded, after we kill them. You see there, we captured the plate, and then I killed them. Right? Now we're getting the next wave. So we've captured the center plate. Now what I've got to do... Is kill you need before you start capturing plates you need to kill the two gladiators and any dogs now where i am now is your safe spot for the plate section it's your right hand side there's a little gap that takes you through to the right hand plate that section there i'll go over it now that section there that is your safe spot the gladiators will not come to you not here here up on here the only thing that can hit you when you're there is those wrist mounted grenades that the legionaries fire so what i'm doing is i'm i'm trying to blind them not to capture a plate i'm trying to blind the ads so i can take out the incendiaries as long as as long as i'm going to try not i'll just go this side i'm going to try not to blow up the backpacks i'm not going to be going out there cuz if you don't blow the backpacks up the back the backpacks those uh two kind of backpacks <laughs> i don't know what else to say the 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 fuel the, the fuel tanks on the back that's what i wanted 
they'll just stay there. So you see what I'm doing here? I'm exploding my... My, uh... I'm exploding my grenade launcher over their heads. It has quite a range. As long as you do it over their heads, you'll be fine. So I blinded them. I've got half the plate. You see, I'm not even looking at the ads because I know I've got it. So I blinded them. I caught half the plate, then I killed them. Once I, you know... See there, just get a grenade on him. I want my devourer. Wish End Up on its own does a, does a fair bit of damage to the Gladiators. On its own. You crit and it does a fair bit of damage. Just, uh, I've nearly got my grenade. I'll put my grenade back down. What I'm trying to do as well is I'm trying to grenade and then blind so that they're, they're not so quick to run away from the grenade. They're kind of forced to stay in it. And the more, the more my grenade's on them, the more my grenade I get back. So we've got one more gladiator if he doesn't keep doing the bop. And there we go, that's the four gladiators. There are the ads. The gladiators will come all the way to the back. The dogs won't come all the way to the back, but the dogs will. They'll come to the plates. So you want that's why you want to get rid of the dogs. Again, same routine. I'm just constantly firing grenades up there. And once I feel like I've done enough, I will just clear all the the legionaries from the centre. Reload. I'm not gonna I'm gonna throw a grenade in the centre here. I'll reload. Any ads that are coming through are gonna get caught in that. Right. Three plates taken very, very very easily actually. It's very straightforward. But even though the boss is out now, you still have to take the gladiators. Because because we've just captured a plate, every time you capture a plate, regardless if you go onto a plate and you don't capture it, you'll get another wave of ads. These are the, as I said to start with, there are two different types of ads. Two different waves of ads. One of them is your plate wave. See, I'm, I'm not standing, going toe-to-toe -to -toe with any of them. I'm moving, because that's the last thing you want, is to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with these bad boys. To make sure that you're in good position to get out of there should you need. I'm just landing in between the streams. Who would have thought Ghostbusters would have uh, prepared me for a GM? So there's three gladiators gone. I just need to see if there's any more. And we'll take, we've got to take the dogs. Once we take the gladiators and the dogs, then we're right back to DPS from this spot. Now that I know that the gladiators are gone, I'm hoping they're, they're all gone. I think they are. Now that they're all gone, I don't have to go left to right. You're only doing the left to right thing when the gladiators are in. So now we're right back to dropping grenades. Hoping to get... Because now you're going to get a ton more ads. You're going to get more... More... Uh, more legionaries. Because all the plates are captured. So you're not just going to be caught with the four legionaries. You're going to get a whole ton of legionaries. You're going to get void shielded incendiaries. You're also going to get some... Uh, some honoured phalanx. So you will be able to get your super. Look how much super you get per grenade kill. See that? See that bar jumping up? You get that. Especially on Voidwalker, it is it's criminal to not use ashes to assets. So you see, it's massive amounts. It is massive amounts of super. We've almost got our super back. So, there's no ads out. I'm not going to waste a grenade, so we'll do the same thing. We'll just... Sometimes I come up on here because the majority of the time his void shots won't come up here. But if I'm being honest, the minute he fires those void shields, I would get out of there. I would. I wouldn't, I wouldn't stay there. Put a grenade down. Put my super down. I'm just going to keep popping my grenades over. And you see there, I put my well, my rift down, so I got more grenade energy there. Look how much super I'm getting just from getting just singular grenade kills. So there is there is a few ads still up. I mean, I'm, I'm once we killed that phalanx, yeah. The, once we killed the honored phalanx and the ads that were there, I'm two-thirds towards my super in what? Less than, less than 60 seconds, easily. The next super should kill him. And that will be it. You just move left to right, 
when 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 the when when you're capturing the plates, those ads will come all the way back here. You cannot stand here. But when it's boss DPS, the only thing that can come back here, as I've said, is the wrist-mounted grenades. You need to move out the way when you see one of them landing behind you. DPS, you do from here. Plate catching. When the ads are out, when the when the gladiators and the when the gladiators and the dogs are out, you need to move from left to right. Once you've killed them, bunch up the four. Uh, the four legionaries, blind them, cat, get on the plate, half capture the plate, kill them, capture the rest of the plate, and then rinse and repeat. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the run. I will be doing more GMs in the near future, so until then, take it easy. I'll see you in the next one.